Oh, it's taking line. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a big bass. That's a big bass. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Got one the old on the old Jensen. Oh man, nice fish. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> oh, sweet. Let's go get him. Well, there we are, nice little bass on the old school Jensen. That is a pretty cool compact little spinner bait if I've ever seen one. Uh, this was literally, that's my second cast with this bait um, ever. And just popped a nice little one pounder. That's pretty cool. That's a really white uh, looking fish though, huh? All right, let's let him go. That was cool. So a little bit late, but welcome to Retro Bassin. Out with my buddy Bluetooth Brandon today. We are, we were gonna fish on the boat, but looked at the weather report and it was supposed to be blowing about 18 to 19 uh, miles an hour. And it was gonna be a pretty miserable day on the old retro wagon. So instead we threw some gear in the back of the truck and we headed south. We're gonna do a little bit of pond hopping, maybe river hopping today, we'll see. And if you guys saw my episode last week, I made a little bit of a run on Jensen Fishing Tackle in downtown Austin. And I picked up some of these baits. This is a Jensen original spinner bait. It's a pretty cool little bucktail spinner bait with a single hook on it and a single blade. I had a hunch this would be the perfect bait for some little ponds like this, especially as that wind picks up today. So far, second cast in, we did get one. So stick around as we go for a few more. That was one. Hey, -oh. whoa. <laughs> that guy hit like slow motion. That was wild. <laughs> Well, for a minute I thought I had the hot, the hot color, but I guess guess not, huh? Woo! A little sand bass in here. Uh, that thing is almost like a like a fluorescent green color. That's a wild looking uh, fish. The weirdest pond ever. As you guys can tell, we're like in a an apartment complex. There's fountains. This water is just putrid and green. And there's fish in here. It's very odd. I'm not complaining, but. <laughs> Another one on the old Jensen. Nice. Nice little fish. There's one. Ho ho! <laughs> You're striking right on that edge, huh? Ah, oh, for Don, Don, Don. <laughs> uh, well, I had one. Yeah, they're hitting. I'm seeing them hit. Like, yeah, they're 
he came up and smoked it, and uh, I smoked something else. I don't know what happened there, guys. I just did not set the hook nearly well enough. <sighs> oh, oh, there's one. Don't get off, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off. We'll get off. God. Are they, they're just striking right there in that weed bed, huh? They are, and I'm sucking at them when they strike. So I guess I just didn't jerk him hard enough. Um, I didn't sharpen the old Jensen hook, but it seems okay. It's just a fiddle, it's a little, you know, O's, O'Shaughnessy hook, that's it. So it's just a little O'Shaughnessy hook that's on a swivel. I should be missing that many. That's like two or three I've missed. That's a bummer. <laughs> this is beyond overcast. This is just cast. Is there a tornado warning today? Dude. Wow. <laughs> this is what you call spinnerbait weather. Holy cow. I'll pan across this little pond to show you. Oh my gosh, this is blowing like crazy. So there's a little bit of weather coming in from over there. I don't know how much you guys can appreciate the ripples, but it is ripping across this little pond. And I don't know if we're gonna get rained out here or not, but I'm thanking my lucky retro stars that we're not on the water on a boat today. Mm. Just because we'd be blowing all over the place and I'd be going nuts and, you know. I don't know if y'all can see this, but there's a bobber literally swimming upstream in this pond. And my suspicion is there's probably some poor fish stuck to the other end of it. So we're gonna try to catch them. Okay, here's the bobber. Oh no! <laughs> and there's the bass. Oh, that poor guy. I wonder how long he had that bobber on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there was literally a bobber just slowly swimming upstream. And poor, list, poor Mr. Bass was just... <laughs> it's a monster. Hey Brandon, I caught another one. So fish has slowed down just a little bit for us, but I'm feeling just a little bit more confident because old Brandon is living up to his nickname. I see he's donned the Bluetooth and that should give me a shot catching another bass. Oh man, I got something big. Oh my gosh, it's taking drag. I have no idea what this is. It's a catfish? Oh man, it's taking drag. Oh, what do I have? It's not rolling like a catfish though. That could be a bass. If it's a bass, this is a big bass. Oh man, this is a big bass if it's a bass. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what this is. Oh, 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 it's taking line. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a big bass, that's a big bass. Brandon, oh my God, I got a big bass. Oh, that's a catfish. <laughs> I thought it was a bass, that's a catfish. That's still pretty cool though, it's a giant catfish. It was fighting like a bass, it kept running. It's a big catfish. I, was, I thought it was a bass, it wasn't a bass. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice little catfish. Oh man. <laughs> On the old Jensen <laughs> extractor. Check that thing out. That is awesome. 
That was a, that's a nice, that's actually a healthy looking channel catfish. Holy cow. Um, and there it goes. <laughs> that's like a, I don't know, like a two pounder. <laughs> I think Brandon's just upset. See, I told you, the second he gets on his phone, boom, nice fish. So that is actually one of the healthiest looking pond catfishes I've seen. <laughs> Look at that guy. So I guess that catch proves a couple things. One, it proves that catfish will hit a, a spinnerbait. Two, it proves that I have no idea what I hook when I hook it. Oh, <laughs> I was hopeful. I mean, heck, I was confident that was a bass for a large part of the retrieve. Um, in my defense, I've caught a lot of catfish, and usually when I hook them, they kind of do that catfish roll in place. This thing was running, so he was not necessarily behaving like your typical catfish, so in my defense. I don't know if I'd want to defend that, but you know. <laughs> okay, he did roll actually because my line is super twisted. So we moved over to the windy side of this little pond. I'm hoping there's a little bit more action over here. That said, the water is definitely a little bit soupier, a little bit more cloudy. So I might slow my retrieve down just a hair. But I've been ripping this Jensen extractor, as you guys can tell. Just reeling it in pretty steady. Occasional KVD pop every once in a while. That's been it. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go! That's alright, that counts. If you'd been on a call, it would have been a bigger fish. <laughs> you hooked him on like the outside of the mouth, man. <laughs> there you go. Is that the first bass of 2021? Yes. Yes, that, <laughs> that monster. Hey, I didn't goose. No, you didn't. You tried. I don't know why I did a running hook set. That was just unnecessary. I didn't feel like I got a good hook on him. <laughs> I guess you're not gonna get a good hook on a fish this size. <laughs> oh my gosh! That wind is ripping, but boy, I tell you, wind and spinner baits, spinner baits and wind, whoo! <laughs> I love it. So another, uh, another nice, Texas springtime bass. You know, if I was worried about blowing up the spot, I, th I think showing fish like this will hopefully prevent a little bit of that. <laughs> so of the two lakes we've fished so far today, I'm definitely liking number one a little bit better. I feel like the water was a little bit clearer and obviously more and bigger fish. Plus less fishermen too. <laughs> what do you have there? <laughs> one for one on the cats today. You doing a little retro catting? A little. <laughs> you got it. Retro cat. We need to get Tom Land to come up with something that rhymes with catting. Oh. So is that uh, does that mean I've got to? Okay. I. Uh... Here. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you how to show me how to get him off. I. So, all right. So the deal with the catfish. Cause they got three spines on them and watch i'm going to stick myself on camera they got one two and three so you got to get underneath these two like it ish 
And then that way they're not gonna get you with those two spines and then there's the other one. And then he's croaking a little bit too. So that's a nice little channel catfish. You can tell it's a channel because it's got the spots on him. And uh, did you think he was a big bass when you caught him? I did not. Well, you, you knew immediately. Unlike me who was screaming lunker for five minutes before I got mine in. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the, that's the deal with the catfish. This would be a good eating size catfish if you were uh, so inclined and actually trusted the water, which I don't. But. Let go. So there's the old Jensen extractor. And a monster channel catfish. So, dude, nice little fish, man. I'll, uh, I'll let him go before he stabs somebody. <laughs> oh, but yeah, you gotta watch those guys. They'll get you. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm like a retro bassing guide for you, you know? I just, I just unhook your fish, throw them in. <laughs> this, is a, this is actually a pretty cool spot though. It's like bass and catfish. I saw that one guy get like a little fish. I'm getting a lot more strikes now fishing along the bank. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And you gotta fish these fast. It's odd, right? It does sound a little... A little retro though. <laughs> I thought it was just part of it. <laughs> it's part of the experience. It's all part Ooh. of the experience, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bass and Bud, see if you can diagnose. What is that clicking if sound? The, <laughs> if the reel's not clicking, you're not retro. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, get a it doesn't sound good. It's like a click every like third reel. Very odd. So we headed back to the first of the three little ponds in this chain. I feel like this one, the water quality looks a little bit better. It doesn't look great, to be honest, but it looks a little bit better. And definitely a little larger class size of fish, at least that I was seeing on this bait. I'm gonna switch up my colors. Make a run around here and see if we can get a fish or two. Oh! Oh, and there's a nice fish. Oh wow, really nice fish. Oh. Come on, buddy. Okay, really nice compared to the minnows that I was getting. You know, I don't often fish a baby blue spinnerbait, but I don't know why. I always feel like I try to match the lure to the watercolor. You know, in those really dark, green, weedy lakes, I fish more of a pumpkin. When it's really clear, you fish more clear stuff. This water is almost <laughs> this shade of blue. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this thing a shot. And sure enough, that's my first second cast with the new baby blue uh, Jensen extractor. And there's a nice little fish. <laughs> that's too wild. So here's a close up of that bait. There it is. That looks like a little bit of an eighth ounce head, I'm guessing. It's got a standard clothespin style uh, design. Normal barrel swivel, a single, little, almost beetle spin size hammered blade. This is where this thing's kind of cool. It's got a bucktail for a trailer instead of a, a, a skirt that's rubber or vinyl or something else. I kind of like that. And the hook itself, it's got that swivel hook which is quite interesting I've missed a couple of fish today on this thing I think that's probably more the fault of the angler than uh, than the lure itself now that I'm kind of letting them eat it a little bit getting a better hook set because I've got these sort of flimsy noodle rods I'm fishing with of course I feel like I'm doing a little bit better and back to spot number one that was a nice first fish
There's one. Another nice one. <laughs> Man, they're hitting so shallow. It's crazy. Oh. So there we go. A nice little pond bass. Another one on the old Jensen. And look at that. These guys must be hungry. He's got a little hole right there. And I did not make that hole. So somebody else has already caught this dude. These guys are all hitting. I feel like it's about 10 inches of water. But that bait is getting through that weed line. As soon as it clears it, boom. These little guys are jumping all over it. I had a feeling that Jensen bait was going to be really good for ponds in general. And this pond in particular. And right I was. It's been a great little bait to throw. The one trick is you can see I am throwing this thing on a spinning rod. I'm just not that skilled with a bait caster to throw a bait this light in this kind of wind. But there we go, nice little dude. We'll uh we'll let him go. <laughs> so I'm just getting ready to get back to go grab my Bluetooth and Brandon hooks what looks like a nice bass actually. Dude, that's a nice one of the day. Wow. Dude. There you go. Nice one. That's a little better than the first one you got. <laughs> Where'd he hit? He hit, I threw it six feet off that bank. Okay. And was retrieving back this away. And it was pretty much right, right there. Let me see him. Nice fish, dude. <laughs> right when I'm going back to get my Bluetooth. <laughs> All right. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Bluetooth Brandon is going to love oh. that hat. That is right up her alley. On so many levels. I, I can basically just get rid of all other hats. Well, it's everything you like. It's foam, <laughs> it's camo, and it says beer hunter, so. It has the size. Honestly, it's got a good fit. Yeah, good fit. <laughs> it's better than your Texas Provisions hat, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's like how to lose your sponsor in three notes. <laughs> it's but it's not so bad, it's so good. You don't think it's, I don't I think it's a great. It's this, it's the way it does this move, maneuver. Yeah. It's, instead of going in like hats do, this one bows out. Well, let's see, get some light in there. <laughs> I like the idea of wearing it like a top hat. It's a very high riding hat. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> I think there's one thing you can do with it, Brandon. It's just wear it with pride and hunt for beers. <laughs> oh, God. A long way to the top if you want a retro bass. That's, that's all there is to it. Oh, <laughs> let me see. Let me see this thing. There it is. Oh. Honestly, dude, that's a good looking hat. You can wear that to the brewery, job interviews, <laughs> <laughs> meetings with the parole officer. If you tune into this show with any degree of regularity, you know that that is one of my favorite little ponds to fish. And you also know that <laughs> chances are when I'm on that little body of water, I've got a spinnerbait in my hand. It was no surprise to me that the Jensen extractor produced today. Uh, that was pretty cool to see. Um, but it was really neat to, you know, discover Jensen Tackle, a place that I'd never been to before, after all these years in Texas, to pick out some baits that, after talking to my buddy Albert, these baits have been discontinued for over 60 years. They've still got hundreds of these baits still on site at Jensen Tackle for sale. But it was really cool to pick up a bait that has been discontinued for a long, long time and find that it still catches fish today. So here's a close-up of the bait. I did show you on the water, but this thing is pretty cool. It is a standard um, spinner bait. Overall, by the way, this thing is three-eighths of an ounce. So while this head might be you know, in an eighth ounce sort of profile, the whole bait itself is three eighths of an ounce. But here's where this thing gets really cool. It's got a bucktail skirt, which I'll get back to, and this swivel hook. I was talking to Albert about this bucktail, and what he said was, 
back when uh, Palmer Lane, I guess it was not Palmer Lane in downtown Austin, that was where all of these were manufactured on site. And the bucktail itself were actually harvested from deer that were hunted locally, again, probably 60 or so years ago. A couple of quick service announcements as it relates to this episode. First off, if you are interested in picking up any of these, the Jensen Extractor. Albert said he absolutely could hook you up remotely and get them in the mail. Only caveat is they do come in a dealer box of 20. This would normally be about 25 bucks, but he says that he will send it to anybody on Retro Bassin for 20 bucks plus shipping. So that is a old school dealer box, and I'm not sure what the history is, but it says Good Fishing with Dye Dipper Lures, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that is what a box looks like that I picked up myself. And inside, you can see 20 freshly minted Jensen extractors. By the way, check out this red. I had not yet fished that color. I hadn't even seen it before I picked it up. I'm kind of pumped to get out there with this. So I will leave all of Albert's contact information down below if you guys do want to reach out and get a dealer box of the Jensen Extractors for 20 bucks. In addition to that, you saw some uh, pretty cool new Texas Provisions apparel. We have just launched the Retro Bass in line at Texas Provisions, and I will drop a link to that down below where you can pick up the hat that I was wearing today, as well as this one sported by Mr. Bluetooth Brandon. In addition to inventing the Jensen Extractor, um, Dr. Yet had a ton of inventions that we are going to do an episode on quite shortly. Albert and I have been talking about it. We're going to sit down outside of Jensen's and go through some of the coolest inventions, including this old school gem, the Jensen Frog Legs. You guys are going to have to stay tuned for that one. So thanks for hanging in, Bass and Buds. If you do happen to catch up with Albert at Jensen Tackle, definitely tell him that Retro said hey. Until next time, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.